Update, we got everybody out of the house. They're heading to the park. My dad's here with Sophia and Jacob just got off of work. So they're taking the girls to the park. It's just me and Julian. I have a little home shoot for him that I wanna do. So I actually found an inspiration picture on Pinterest. So I'll post it right here. But I wanna do something similar to this. Um, it's obviously not gonna be exactly the same. We'll see how this goes because I have something pictured in my head on what I wanna do. So now I just gotta execute it and see how it turns out. I'm gonna do the shoot up against this wall. So I moved all my couches over that way. It's kinda a little disaster in here. Just finished laying out the base um i wish this tape was in black but we're gonna try to work with it i needed super heavy duty tape so that way this doesn't move around but i'm gonna go ahead and start assembling like the clouds in the balloons i got this big ass bag of polyfill this is pretty much going to replicate the clouds and it's a really big bag so i really hope i have enough to put like on this side on that side and then i also got some fairy lights that i want to like intertwine in between the balloons and the clouds <laughs> I finally finished setting up. Um, I do wish that this backdrop, this one here, was a bit longer. I think I kind of fucked up there. But other than that, honestly, I really like how it turned out. I also got this little like moon and stars that um, have like adhesive in the back. So I stuck this on the wall there. The little outfit I got him is this little like diaper cover. I don't know if I'm going to put a diaper on him. You know, I probably will because I don't want him peeing on this. Um, so it's this with the suspenders and then it also comes with a little bow tie and I need to do his hair. He's looking very messy right now. I'm working with natural lighting, so I need to hurry up. Jacob also got here not that long ago with his little cake that I ordered that he's going to be smashing. So I think I'm going to take a couple of pictures of him without the cake and then we'll do the cake last because this is going to be very messy. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. I, I'm going to have to adjust the suspenders because they're looking like they're a little big right now. Let me see, baby. You gotta look up a little bit. I am loving everything so far, but now we have to see how the pictures turn out. I am crossing my fingers because I don't want this to be a fail. This is what it looks like with the fairy lights on. You can't even really see them, but I'm gonna leave them on anyway. I'm sorry if I don't get a lot of clips in of me taking the pictures because I do vlog with my phone and I'm obviously gonna use my phone to take the pictures. Oh my gosh, I sit him over there. He crawls back this way. So I originally wanted to take some pictures without the cake, but I think the only way I'm gonna get him to stay is with the cake. It is so hard working with, it is, you are a very difficult client. I'm gonna go ahead and sit him down and he's kind of a little cranky right now. This is not going too well. I try to like smash his hand in there and he doesn't like it. Look at how mad it is. I thought I was gonna get cute ass pictures, but honestly I've only got pictures of him crying. So I'm gonna try to work with him a little bit more. I I don't know if Julian just doesn't like the frosting. Every time the frosting would touch his like hand or his leg or his foot, he'd start freaking out. Like he made a big ass mess and I got some pictures, but <laughs> I'm just gonna add the pictures that I got here. Like in the next few clips, you will see the pictures. But what's the one where I've been crying? I mean, I got a couple where he kind of like distracted himself and looked down at the cake but he was literally crying like 90 percent of the time he's like over it he already wants to get out of his suspenders you gotta let him try his little cake though you want to try it you only turn one one time all right you gotta try a little bit of your cake 
Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. It's Sunday. We're going to go to Jacob's mom's house. I just picked up Julian's cake. Yes, I got him another cake. So this cake we're actually taking to Jacob's mom's house. We're going to celebrate his little birthday over there and then also take advantage, celebrate Mother's Day. His cake yesterday, he actually didn't even really mess it up that much. So we ended up all just like eating that little cake between like my dad, me, my brother came. Um, the kids. So we were just hanging out yesterday. We watched the kind of little fight. We're actually at Vallarta right now. I came to pick up some stuff for our That's what we're gonna be making today. Got some taco meat, linguiça. We just got to my mother-in-law's. I want to record her little reaction on her gift we got her. I actually didn't show y'all the gift that Jacob got me, but it's pretty much the same thing. He got me some cute roses that look exactly like this. And then he got me a cute ass frame that said mom. And in the middle of mom, it had Amaya and Julian's name. It's so pretty. Maybe I'll show it to y'all when we get back home. But I want to record her reaction because look at how pretty these flowers are. My mother in is still getting ready upstairs. I'm going to start making the aguachiles so that way we could kind of munch on this while Jacob makes the tacos. I got baby Julian over here and he's sleeping. So hopefully he stays asleep for a little bit. And let me also show y'all Julian's little cake. I did a little dinosaur theme. It says, happy first birthday. Wait, oh my God. Tell me why. <gasps> no, I just noticed that it freaking smudged against. Oh my God. That makes me a little sad, but whatever. It, it did say happy birthday and it has a number one there. Um, but yeah, it's a little dinosaur theme. Happy Mother's Day. Thank we you. brought you this. Oh, these are yellow. This is uh, Jacob's I know he was going to get you red ones, but... No, I don't like red. Really? Red is white. Really? White flowers. Open That's why the mirror has white flowers. <laughs> I know. I always get him white flowers, too. <laughs> Have it in my hair. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's pretty. I was wondering how oh they were going to fill the names. Oh, my gosh. Are those real flowers? Uh, doesn't it, they look real, but they're not. Okay, we are finally done with the aguachiles. I feel like I took so long with the aguachiles. Chica brought me some tacos. I'm going to eat those right now. I got grandma here with me, but I'm going to go take these outside. Look how good they look. I just opened my little Mother's Day gift that my sister-in-law gave me, so I'll be showing it to y'all a little later. But I'm going to get right inside because we're going to cut Julian's little cake. Baby! Are you ready? We're gonna cut his cake. Are you ready? Cut your cake. He's sick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now he wants to play. I know. Now okay, he wants one, to. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear, dear Julian. Son. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, oh, look at him, he's sitting sad. Hi, <laughs> Come here, baby. No. Julian. Bring him over here. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Walk, walk, walk. We need to get you to walk, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying hi, Roman. <laughs> hi, Roman. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> Grandma and her little doggy. She's her little baby. Look at Julian. 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 Look yeah, so he first got a really bad fever, and then, um... And so he got 100 fever? Um, so then after his fever went away, these little bumps, like, started Just showing came. up on his face. So you can see it's, like, really bad on his cheek. He also has yeah. some down here. <laughs> but right he, here, it's, like, really red. He has some all over his chest, on his legs. He just has them everywhere. So I wasn't able to finish the vlog because I wanted to first make sure that everything was fine with him. I started freaking out. But he's fine. I took him to the pediatrician. They gave me a little pamphlet of what he has, which I believe is fifth disease. So the doctor actually recommended that I buy some baby Cetaphil, which is what I did. And then I also got some um, eczema, some, like, cortisone. So I quickly showered him. I cleaned him with this little Cetaphil and then I lathered him in his cortisone so he's like fresh and clean right now. His fever went away so he's fine now. 
But I did want to quickly show y'all what I got for Mother's Day because I yes. did say I was going to show you guys. Yes. The very first gift is actually from my mother-in-law, which I have on right now. So shout out to my mother-in-law. Like she came through with a cute little sleepwear outfit and it came with a little robe. Honestly, if I'm being real, I sometimes wake up and just drop them off at school in my robe. So, and yeah. and my robe is like a fluffy big one. So this is kind of a little more incognito. It doesn't this look like so much really like sleepwear. It's this cute. Is, it's fuzzy. So yeah, this is the first gift from my mother-in-law. Thank yeah. you. So my sister-in-law Marissa gave me a little gym outfit because she knows I'm trying to hit it hard in the gym. Eating good is a different story, but I've definitely been going to the gym. I try to work on my eating because my eating has not been as good as I want it to be. But it's this cute little set. This is the top, a little sports bra. And then I already showed you guys the little matching shorts. And, and then, then she gave her a little cookie. She got yeah. me this cute little cookie. Look yeah, at how good it looks. And it's been sitting in here. I haven't opened it because I wanted to show it to the vlog. But it says mom. And it looks so good. And then now there's hand sanitizer. Yeah, and, and then she got me this cute little hand sanitizer. So shout out to Marissa coming and through with the gym nice outfit. One. Then my sister-in-law Monique got me this cute little cup that says mom. And then she put little starbursts in here, little airheads, a little bar of soap. And then she also gave me this cute little lotion. So thank you, Monique. Jacob got me this cute ass frame. Like, yes. look at, we actually got my mother-in-law this same frame. But it says mom, and then it has my baby's names in it. So it says Jelena and Amaya. Mm -hmm. And look at how real these flowers look. Like, they look so realistic, but they're actually, like, paper flowers. They look know. really real. But they're, it's so cute. I love this. And he gave me these cute little flowers, which, like I said, we got my mother-in-law the same exact bouquet. But look at how pretty they are. <laughs> but with all that being said, I'm going to go put all this stuff away. I'm going to close out the vlog because Julian has not let me put him down the last couple of days. He just, like, wants to be on me at all times. And I don't blame him. He's a little sicky. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And, and hit the like button. And we will see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye.